Hey everyone! Sometimes your code might use asynchronous functions or return a promise, which is the same thing. So how do you make Cypress test wait for the promise before it executes the next command, like scilog in this case? It's actually pretty simple. All you need to do to make Cypress wait for the promise to be resolved is to wrap it using scirap command. So now notice the wrap and then scilog. And wherever promise was wrapped, we'll have to resolve completely and it becomes the new subject of this command chain. So, for example, you can confirm that it equals to 42. Okay? Before scilog continues. So everything will be queued up and then the promise will resolve and Cypress will move to the assertion and then to the scilog command. And it doesn't even have to be a single promise. Imagine right here that you have this asynchronous function that computes the SHA of some text. And then you want to maybe compute SHA of multiple texts. So something like this. So how do you wait for all these values at once? Well, you can use utility promise all. And what you need to do? Pass the list of promises and it gives you a combined promise that resolve with an array of values. So we can wrap this promise all, okay? And all of them will resolve. And then we get values. So let's just print them for now. Notice it's an array of strings. So resolve value from each promise. Well, if you have an array, you can say, okay, you know, SHAs, and then you can confirm it. Or we can even do better. We can use size spread and get SHA1, SHA2, SHA3. And let's just confirm that each one is a string. So the first one is a string, and the second and the third are also a string. So this is how you can grab whatever the promise your code returns, insert it into the Cypress chain and make sure that the commands and assertions wait for that promise to be resolved and then use the value that it resolves with.